Beck Ann here. Thanks for stopping by my channel, Beck and Sam Crafting Fun, to see what I was up to. Well, I have this queen, Crafty Queen paper pack from Biddy Penny. She has come out with a paper pack that's six by eight inches. This is 24 sheets of paper with 12 designs. And I'm showing it to you here and it is beautiful bright rich colors it has flowers and paint splatter and quilt it has cutouts there's also a page of queens that I showed you at the beginning that you can cut out and some sentiments that are craft uh, queen inspired to encourage your friends and I really am in love with this rich paper that has lots of texture you know how much I love texture you guys and I love adding ribbon and so I am going to start with making cards using these as backgrounds and I'm going to start with this Colorado craft company called Be Creative. It's a mini. There must be a larger size of it. So I've colored it up. I've used some acrylic paint markers. Very simple coloring but I wanted to mimic the background paper so you'll see that I added that acrylic marker like it got splattered. So the paper, or I mean the card base I'm using is a Stampin' Up! Memories and More pack. I, I really like uh, sometimes using a little bit bigger size when, to show off background paper that I just fall in love with the rich colors. So I'm just fussy cutting that out. And you can see that I have a yellow strip of paper there. I had embossed flowers on some yellow strips of paper that I had in my stash. I will do that sometimes because you want to use all your scraps too. So I will incorporate that later into the card here. But I decide that this sparkly ribbon that I have sticky back is going to add just the right amount of sparkle to this card. So I am adding that in. I had punched a heart out of vellum to put behind my mouse because I realized he's a little small and with all these bright splatters I felt like he might get lost in the in the mix. So I decided to put that vellum. Now I'm using the sentiment from this hummingbird and you see that I've got this great little splatter stamp. I use splatter stamps all the time and I've cut the sentiment in half and am adding those splatter of dots in different colors just to give it a little more interest. So I'm going, getting ready to put the sentiment on and this is where those yellow strips of paper that I embossed come in because I back the sentiment with, with that and that just gives it a little bit more color to have the sentiment pop. So that's what I'm going to do for this first card here. And let me just tell you a little bit about Biddy Penny. I Last week I had made some ornaments from her Peaceful Christmas paper pack. She is a YouTube YouTuber here and she does lots of cards and junk journals. Well, she started her own small business and these are some of her first paper packs that she has come out with. And I have to say, I am loving it. The paper is a very good weight, and I am loving the bright colors and the vers versatility of the paper because 
I am not in love with the crafty queens that are included, but on the other side of that paper are, are beautiful backgrounds. And that's really why I purchased the paper uh, for the bright colors. And I just wanna showcase all of that to show you what you can do with beautiful backgrounds and your stash, your ribbon, your stamps, and it is so much fun to take different papers and your stamps and just go to town stamping images and then playing around until you get each card so unique and different. So I am going to be making several cards, but this is the only one that I put completely together for you. I start playing around with that gold twine, but decide it's just a bit too much behind my little, little messy painted mouse. <laughs> so I decide just to put that up on some, on some dimensional pop dots and glue it down. The only thing I decide to do um, is to mat it on this green Stampin' Up card stock that I think is called Emerald Envy, it's retired, and put it on that beautiful card base from the Memories and More pack. I think those measure six by four and a half, so it's bigger than an A2, and I really do like, like making a bigger size card sometimes, especially when I really love the paper and want to showcase it. So this messy little mouse has made some beautiful artwork in this first card. And now I'm just going to add a few gems and I will call this card finished. Just got to get the right place. And you know I got to move them just a little bit here. So there's card number one. Now I move on to card number two and I'm just showing off this stamp set from Impression Obsession. It's called Sock Bunnies and I have used it a few times and I really do love it. That's showcasing the other side of that panel. Those those flowers are fabric. They're, they're like a stitched quilt fabric and I absolutely loved how that card turned out. I'm sorry I didn't show it to you very long. But here's my Tracy Hay Flamingo stamp set. And I took another one of those panels and used it. I uh, stamped it on watercolor paper and watercolored that with some inks from Stampin' Up. And I used some daisy dyes. And so I, I did put this on another Memories and More card base because from Stampin' Up! because again I liked getting to showcase the paper and so it makes that bigger size. Now I'm going to get ready to show you my next little card using this penny black called Tiny Wishes. I love these little hedgehogs you guys and there's the information. I will be using that cute little hedgehog. Look at that. I have the card base for this fun fold up in the corner for you, but look how it showcases that paper using it on that inner panel. I used a Sizzix die, flower die that I ran through an embossing folder so that it gave it more texture. I popped it up on some foam dots. And then here's my final cute little note card. I simply took a piece of the paper and folded it over, took a black cardstock and cut the middle out so it really can showcase. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these cards I created with the Bitty Penny card pack called Crafty Queen and 
I will include her information down below in the description box. But until next time, I hope you are having a great crafty day, and I will see you soon. I hope this gave you inspiration today. Bye for now.